Hi friends, Carol here. I'm not sure what happened, but we're going to start over. So I had read to you Psalm 42, verses 1 through 5, and it's talking about the deer panting for flowing streams. So pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. And I think, does my soul pant for God? Does my soul thirst for him? When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food night and day, while they say to me all the day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I would go with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God, with glad shouts and songs of praise, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? Or why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. I love spring. I love those spring bulb flowers, the daffodils, the tulips, the jonquils, the hyacinths, the little violets. I love the other flowers that just come up in your yard, not meaning dandelions, although there's value to dandelions. But I love the trees too, the red buds, the apple blossoms, the magnolias. They are so majestic. I love dogwoods. I love driving down the road and seeing dogwood trees in blossom through the other trees. It's just, it's so refreshing. So, so refreshing. They're beautiful. They've come out of a long, dreary, weary season of cold and wind and snow and winter. And I think about that in our spiritual life. There are seasons, aren't there? Sometimes we go through long, cold, weary, dreary seasons, but there's hope. There's hope because there's fresh relationship, fresh walking with the Savior at the end of that. It doesn't have to be a long, dry season. We can refocus on God, refocus on Jesus' gift to us of eternal life, and we can refresh and push that refresh button. We can refocus on the Savior. We can get deep into the Word. You know those... Plants fight for nutrition in the soil. Weeds fight for space to grow and nutrients. Weeds can be like sin in our lives. Sin can actually fight for the space in our hearts as we walk with the Lord. So we need to look at that. Are there things we need to confess? We sometimes provide fertilizer for plants. Are you fertilizing your soul? How much time do you spend in the Word? Letting the Word of God be fertilizer to your soul. Rain. We, plants need water to grow. Rain is best because it has nutrients from the atmosphere that come down and water it. Are you allowing the nutrients in the power of prayer to help you stay fresh and growing? If you're in a, a season that's dry, choose to fight to get out of that. Choose to get Give up have been beautiful all along, but they could be even more beautiful if you had good nutrients, you had good fertilizer, and the nutrients from the power of prayer. So my challenge for us is to be more beautiful as we mature in our spiritual walk, as we grow older in our walk with the Lord, allowing the power of the Holy Spirit to help us to grow and to be more beautiful in our walk. I, I want to play, I chose, I'd rather have Jesus. That song just was laid on my heart. And interestingly, it comes from Matthew 16, verses 24 to 26. So I want to read those. Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? So as we look at that, we don't want to gain the whole world and forfeit. We want our soul to thirst after 
God as a deer pants for water. That's my desire, to make it all about Jesus. The chorus of that song is, Then to be the king of a vast domain or be held in sin's dead sway, I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords today. So I pray that that's your desire to bloom beautifully, be that magnificent magnolia tree, that wonderful, refreshing dogwood tree that blooms in the spring and is sprinkled throughout the woods and it sheds just refreshing as we watch those trees bloom. I pray that we'll all bloom. Father, may our desires be to be beautiful blooming trees that reflect Jesus. Christ. Help us to be magnificent magnolias to those about us. Help us to desire to be in the word, to desire to have a strong prayer life with you, and help us to be encouraged that when there are seasons of darkness, they don't last forever. And you're right there. You've promised to never leave us, to forsake us. You'll be with us. You'll walk with us. Your grace is sufficient. Thank you for those promises, Father. <clears throat> In Jesus' name, amen. You guys have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.